Welcome to Abbas Gallery channel. The French were slow to spot the SUV trend, a one-time sales trickle that has turned into a tidal way. An SUV like the new Citroen C3 Aircross on review, after all, runs au contraire to their motoring values. The French, traditionally, like rational cars. They are not big buyers of German premium brands, too flash and too expensive. They pioneered the MPV, a deeply logical car. They were early hatchback innovators, appreciating their extra practicality and functionality. SUVs, on the other hand, are not rational, especially for road use. What, asked our French friends, is the logic behind vehicles that are bigger, heavier, more cumbersome, more fuel consumptive, more polluting, and more expensive than the hatchbacks or saloons on which they're typically based. Yet usually no more spacious or versatile. Too late. Finally, even the French have now fallen for their Faustian charms. So Renault, Peugeot and, last off the blocks, Citroën are all playing catch up. The new C3 Aircross is Citroën first SUV, if we exclude the small volume C Crosser, a rebadged Mitsubishi that's about as Parisian as a bento box. Well, yes it does. Under new UK-born boss Linda Jackson, Citroën is now making some distinctive cars again. Forget old school technical leadership. I fear we will never again see new Citroëns with anything like the old DS's, GS's, or CX's technical ELA. Yet, at least, the new models are increasingly standalone in style and in substance. As with its hatchback brother, the C3 Prioritis's comfort and space. Sadly, few other mainstream makers do so. The seats are softer, wider, and bulkier than the class norm, and well cushioned. It rides well and with a suppleness alien to most small hatches, even if it lacks the agility, or ride slash handling combination, of the excellent new Fiesta. Crossovers or SUVs are never as much fun to drive as a good hatch. It's also roomy for a car so small, this six-footer could sit behind another same-size driver, no problem. Three adults could ride in the back. Its appealingly boxy shape allows easy ingress and exit. The rear seats slide fore and aft, rear backrests are rake adjustable and the back seats can fold flat. The front passenger backrest can also fold, to accommodate really long items. So it's a versatile load lugger. Like most new school SUVs, the C3 Aircross is no more designed for the rough stuff than a 16th arrondissement Parisian is likely to enjoy camping. Yet it does have optional grip control that allows you to select sand, all-road, snow, or ESP off programs, and is like a junior version of Land Rover's terrain response. As its front drive only, no 4x4 is offered or envisaged, don't go searching for tracks where Land Rovers would fear to tread. And the engines are good. Two are offered, the excellent Pure Tech, oh dear, these NAF names. 1.2 petrol triple, in 82, 110 and 130 horsepower guises, and the surprisingly sweet blue HD 4 pot diesel, 100 or 120 HP versions available. The sweet spot is probably the 130 petrol complete with 6-speed manual box, in mid-range fuel spec. 